All right, welcome to another round of the Corona Cup here. Um, we have a fun looking round this time. We have Jax on the left playing his Dash and Lando. And then we have Andrew on the right playing, looks like, Vader Ryad and two Academy pilots. Um, should be a fun game. A lot of dice, a lot of agility, a lot of dice on the left, a lot of agility on the right. Um, so they're setting it up there. Should be getting ready to start any minute here. All right, so as they're kind of finishing up getting set up, I'm gonna go ahead and share our Twitch uh, link around to different Facebook groups. And if you ever see this out there, feel free to share it and comment on it and come join us. Hmm, so we have a couple of lines forming. You got Jack starting off in his corner. Probably gonna head downboard depending on where Vader places. Um, if Vader places on the opposite side, they'll probably turn in and kind of go th around that little rock and come up and around. Um, whereas if Vader placed on the other side down at the bottom, he might have uh, just gone down, tried to spread them out. Looks like they are about ready to start. Let's get them to set dials. So while we're in this little bit of time here, I want to, again, shout out big thank you to uh, the 512 out of Austin for setting up the Corona Cup here, um, putting in the effort there to do this. Um, thank you for the players for agreeing to play on stream and letting me know when your games are. And, uh, you know, just thank you to FFG for making a great game that we can all play. Uh, oh, big thank you to... TTS and the people who have dedicated their time and energy to make this a thing. Um, this is a great tool that we can use here during this uh, crazy time in the world. But let's see. I guess if we're going to put put bets down here, I think we're about at a 50-50 chance. All right, their timer has started. All right, those Academy pilots coming out quick. All right, we're gonna pause for a bit of technical difficulty on their side. Dial wasn't moving the ship. All right, they should be, maybe, maybe. All right, give me one second here and I'll hop into their chat and see what's going on. Hey, did you guys, um, how did you spawn in your list? Yeah, try um, spawning it here. I can pull up your uh, list on like Yassib or something and try it that way. Okay, Vader, Hate, and uh, what else do you have on Vader? And FCS. Then a Defender, which is Riad with... Predator and uh, Jamming Beam, and then two little old Academy Ties. All right, and you're at 200 points. Uh, TTS, copy. Boop. Oh, you got it. There you go. All right, so that should, 
That should work. All right, there we go. Um, that should get them what they need there. So that's the uh, the slight downside of playing on a digital platform is you do have some technical errors. Um, but we'll go ahead and just chat a little bit. All right, so I've shared that around. Yeah, it does look like it should be a pretty fun matchup once I get it going. Um, <laughs> so we got, um, you know, Jackson's normal strategy here of just throwing a lot of dice and popping ships and cutting through may not work against an entire list of three agility ships. So that could be definitely something that could throw a monkey wrench in it here if those dice decide to uh, go in Andrew's favor. Um, Andrew's only going to out PS his ships, uh, Jackson ships, with Vader. Um, other than that, it's a 4 1 1. So those, uh, those ones there could get popped before they ever do anything, um, especially being TIE fighters with no shields or anything to protect them. But we will see kind of how the targets of opportunity present themselves and how they fly and which way they're going to go. There we go. All right, we're getting back here. So we're going to start that timer again. Hey, how you doing there, one arm Billy? Oh, look at that. They're just going to pop a couple 4Ks here. Turn back around the opposite direction. I like it. I like it. Now, especially with Andrew's ships going fast on that side of the board, he's going to bring these guys back around the other side of the board. And uh, it's going to be hard for that Academy and Vader there to be able to get into the fight before... Dash and Lando get a couple shots at Riad and uh, the other academy. Or possibly just Riad. Riad could uh, <laughs> can do a lot of damage just by itself, as defenders are very accustomed to doing. right here all right so we got hmm, got dash and lando gonna be coming around the bottom side of the board here And Riot's going to want to go fast, so we'll probably see something like a three bank. Mm, TIE Fighter probably does a, a two hard. 
And Vader and the other tie probably gonna do maybe a three hard and a barrel roll. Vader over there built out uh, no afterburners, so Vader is slightly less maneuverable than we're used to seeing, but does have hate. Hate is uh, a very powerful thing for for Vader. Let me set the overlay to match up to the ships. All right, we're just gonna see a three bank. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if he's just buying time or... wonder if we're going to see a boost here. He gave his free action to himself and now he has his normal action. Can't pass it to Dash, because Dash is stressed. He attempted a lock himself. Hmm. All right, Dash just doing a fo double focus there. So it looks like the, uh, the safe play from Andrew worked. Um, nobody's getting shot at. And he lets Vader and that other Academy tie get it a little bit closer before he's ready to engage. So no shots this round. So you may have noticed the uh, timer started at 60 minutes. They're using the Corona Cup timer, which is 60 minutes plus two complete rounds. So this game very well could come down to time, uh, especially with the defender in the list. So we will be monitoring the time carefully so we can let them know when that is up. Also, good to remember that Dash can ignore that rock while moving. However, if he lands on top of it, he won't be able to shoot. Or if he stays on top of it, rather. All right, let's see what we're going to have this these academies doing. Probably coming right through that gap there. And the real question will be whether Vader does something like a five straight here in attempt to get around that small rock. Um, or whether he turns in and then does something like a barrel roll to get kind of on the inside track. Or he may even just do something like a two hard and line himself up for coming towards the sun there at the bottom of the board. A lot of options. I think Jax's pretty obvious move here is to just kind of come right around the bottom of the screen and work his way back around. All right, got a debate with Ryad there. The aggressive move would be doing something like a three hard to the left. Um, but that's dangerous because you're putting yourself right in the bad spot for dash. Um, a three bank, you know, probably just as dangerous because you want to go fast to get to get those tokens. Free tokens are always good tokens. All right, second guessing a little bit. All right, he's set. All right, five straight from an academy. Okay. Oh, okay, a one bank here and a focus. Did not want to be in the danger zone. Okay, he's going to pass a target lock to dash. Nope. Take that back. He's going to pass a double focus off to Dash. And then he will focus himself. Dash just doing a one bank here. 
Now he will attempt to take the target lock. Hmm. I want to see you take it on Riot here, but taking it on the Academy could uh, really just ruin that Academy's day. Yep, I think you take it on, you take it on Riot here. They're having a little bit of technical difficulties getting the actual components to show up. Mm -hmm. That is right, you don't usually see a defender going slow. And in this case, I think it would be a mistake. They're just having a little bit of technical difficulties here. I'm going to pause the timer while they figure this out. All right, so he went ahead and locked the academy. They're just going to, we know that there's a lock out there. Vader's going to go fast. Gonna attempt to barrel roll left and forward. And he's going to try to get a target lock here. We will see if he's in range. Sure enough, he is. All right. From our angle, I'm not 100% sure if he has... Oh. Hmm. There we go. He put a target lock out there on dash. All right. Range three shot onto dash. All right, we're gonna see an FCS. All right, and he spent a force. So Vader is two force down. Dash going to... Dash taking two here. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> All right. Looks like three hits. There we go. All right, Academy taking one there. That is Academy number two. Dash has that Academy pilot locked. Oh, Vader is going to be a real juicy target. I'm going to spend that lock. Oh, just three. All right. We'll see. And that is a dead academy. Academy popped in a couple of shots there. All right, we're going to see him shoot at Vader here. Vader only one force as a modifier. Going to be four reds on four greens. That's a pretty good shot. <laughs> Vader dodging. Doing what Vader does right there. Alright. Now we're going to see Riot activate. Uh, 
All right, so we got a range three. Range three on dash. Could have taken the range three on Lando. Uh, would have had Predator there. Oh, hey, John, how you doing? Sorry, didn't see you there on the chat window. Carefully watching the game. All right, Dash is dodging uh, Lando's shots. Or, uh, Dash is dodging Riad's shots. Academy, going to finish it off here with two dice. Going to be one crit onto Lando. And Lando dodges. All right. All right, they're going to pause the timer and discuss they're having a loading issue. Yes. Yes, I can hear you guys. Um, they spawn up when I'm seeing... I can see them. Um, so if you copy them and put them somewhere, uh, like he did, when he did that, it worked for him. Um, just put, like, a die or any other token. Just use it as a target lock. Yeah, yeah, just any, any kind of token you use. As long as you say it, I'll hear it, and then I'll know And if I see you guys. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Cool, awesome. See, you just got to be adaptive. Nope, it's great. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. All right. There you go. See, sometimes you got to be flexible. Greatly appreciate them being uh, flexible rather than having to restart the game or something like that. So that should work for now. All right. So I think we're going to see, uh, oops, there you go. We're going to see probably a three bank or a three hard from Vader. Well, maybe not even going that fast. Vader does kind of appreciate that range three engagement. Um, I wonder if a five straight from that academy, I don't think it'll be far enough to block, um, but it could get into range one, which will at least reduce the dice that someone like Dash is throwing. Um, Riot though, may be able to go far enough to get a block. Uh, we'll see if that's the route he wants to take. But Lando here will probably see something like a uh, a two forward dash, something like a a one or two bank, um, and just kind of keep their conga line rolling. So Jackson is ahead right now um, by enough by twenty two points, aka one academy tie. Uh, traded two shields on dash for a ship on the other side of the board. Um, the academies are just there as filler, really. Um, there's not a lot of ships you can put on the board for 44 points. Um, but you can put two academy ties. So you can say that that academy tie did his job. It uh, made Jack shoot there as opposed to putting shots onto Riot or... Stronger shots on Vader. Oh, going for the block. It looks like he went just far enough to get that block. Ooh. Oh, Ryad cleared that. Getting his focus and evade here. So Lando's going to bump. And Dash is going to bump too. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be in range one of Riad there. Uh, Vader is the... Alright. Vader in the danger shot from Dash, however, being unmodified. Not going to be super crucial. Um... He may barrel roll to get an unobstructed shot, though. He already has the lock. Definitely going to want to focus here. 
He's debating. Yeah, this is going to be a very painful turn for for Dash here. Um, Dash probably taking all three shots, probably a range one shot from the defender. Um, however, it is just focus modified, so could be worse. Uh, Vader, I would really like to see him reposition here because that rock is going to be very very problematic here in a second. Range two obstructed. Um, also probably could have cleared that up. Looks like hit eyeball blank, re-rolled one, and he's going to spend a force charge, so it's going to be hit hit crit onto dash. Uh, oh, dash just rolling natties. Wow. Yeah, I agree. Dash, uh, I mean, uh, Vader should have barrel rolled there. Um, you got to think of the next turn. Even if he would have gone towards the outside of the board, uh, would have given him a lot of options next turn. Now, I'm not sure if he can even fit. He might fit it too hard there, barely. But he's, that's a big risk when you really didn't need to. All right. All right, dash onto Ryad. It's going to be hit crit. All right, and there's enough paint, so dodges it heartily. All right. Hey, hey, what do we get there? Carl, thank you so much for following. We greatly appreciate it. Looks like Lando went into Riad there. We'd uh, force him to spend both of his tokens, though. All right, so they were having a technical difficulty. That's why I rerolled it twice. It kind of just hovered there. All right, Dash going to take another two there. Overall, Dash coming out of this pretty unscathed right here um, until the Academy has Dash range two. Oh, it's going to be another two hits. We'll see what Dash can... Oh, man! Those dice from Dash! Wow! So now we are at a very interesting turn here. Um, Riot able to probably do something like a 5k getting behind um lando and dash though you don't want to get blocked that is a huge problem for your list um i do think they can both probably hard turn to the left without it being a problem um because their arcs are out the sides, you want to get in a way where you're still going to be able to shoot. Uh, it's a rough rough position, though. Uh, but Vader, without repositioning last turn, is going to be very limited on what he can do. I would expect to see something like a two hard out of him. So something like a three bank from Lando. Um, and possibly even... Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Possibly even uh, Dash going straight and then reversing or uh, changing his dial. I mean, arc would be another option there. So we will see here what they decide to do. Jax's dial is set pretty quick. Um, you know, that's the joy of having a simple list here. Yes, I do think his firstborn mare's child was sacrificed to the gods. Um, for those dice, I mean, Natty three dice on Dash versus Vader, and then another Natty two versus the Academy there, only taking two shields that round. Um, that was pretty big. However, also wasn't able to do any damage that round, um, thanks to a tokened up Ryad um, and the blocks there. So, Andrew, that was um, great maneuvering right there. Uh, with getting those ships right where you wanted them, lining up your shot on dash, 
Um, you almost wonder if it would have been better for him to for Riot to take take some damage there and push out a little bit more, but it's just a very hard thing to say. So I'm going to take a moment here and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about some of our goals this year with Idea Squad. We're going to be working on getting some uh, some higher quality videos going and improving our YouTube and Twitch channels. So we're greatly looking for subscribers and followers. So if you have Amazon Prime, it is free for you to subscribe to us via Amazon Prime. It doesn't cost you anything, and it floats us uh, about $2.50 per subscription. So we would greatly appreciate that if that's something that you're able to do. Um, also, if you uh, would just go to Twi or go to YouTube and watch some of our previous matches, watch this match once it gets posted, um, that will help us get uh, some money put away so that we can upgrade, get some cool animations. Um, in the near future, I'll let it let it out. We do have some uh, some cool animations being worked on right now, and any little bit we can help, uh, we're gonna put that right back into the channel for improving the quality of our video and sound and footage um, and also getting uh, some nice prizes and swag uh, set for you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing a summer league. Um, more than likely going to do it TTS based just because this is working out really well here. So, all right, it looks like dials are set, maybe? Maybe not. All right, I think he just flipped it to... To check what he was doing there. All right, they are set. Let's see what this academy does. Probably a two or three hard. Oh, just a one. All right, Rad just gonna run away here. He was uh, saying how he didn't think the five K would fit. Ooh, okay, so now is where your options are. We should probably be able to guess what Dash did based on the actions that Lando's going to pass to him. Hmm. If he thinks he's going to bump, then we'll probably see him pass a focus, giving him a double focus here. Um, if we don't think he's going to bump, maybe a target lock? Oh, okay. Riot did a three bank towards the bottom of the board there. The safe maneuver. He thought he was going to fly off the board there, John. All right. He's going to take a target lock onto Riot. <laughs> oh, three hard from Dash here. He's going to take a target lock onto Riot as well. Um, we'll see if uh, he wishes he would have taken one onto Vader here in a second. But although Vader is more points. Um, Actually, Vader is not more points, right? It is more points. So Vader is also a very juicy target. And Dash will probably be able to shoot at both of them this turn. All right, he's going to activate Lando first. Only shot being a range three obstructed at Vader. Best hope, strip a token here. Oh, a whole lot of nada. Dash is going to have two range two shots. He's got range two obstructed onto Vader. So he's going to shoot at range two onto Riot first. He has a target lock there. Going to spend that lock on the blank. Oh, and he's going to spend that focus. That means Riot is taking at least one damage here.
Ugh. Green dice are showing up all over this board today. It's going to shoot at Vader here. All right. Not a great shot, but it could do. He'll spend the focus, take nothing there. You got the Academy shooting range one at Lando here. Hit crit, okay. Looks like Lando's going to be taking two shields there. All right, so we traded one shield on Ryad for two shields on Lando. Not a bad trade either way. Um, but positioning-wise, I think this is where we're going to see a big split. Um, Ryad going to have to take a turn to get back in the fight here. Uh, I think we're going to see Dash do something like a, a one forward or a one bank. And you're going to have shots at probably Vader and, and Ryad. Because um, Ryad, we're going to see... Let's see, he can do any straight maneuver as a K turn, but I don't think they have, they don't have a one straight, and I don't think a mm, two straight may put him dangerously close to the edge, but we will see. Uh, Lando, hmm, Lando, Lando, Lando. You don't want to be in the rocks, that's for sure. But you also don't want to be too far away from Dash. So we will see what he decides there. The TIE Fighter's probably going to end up bumping into the back of Lando here to try and keep close and get a shot. But it's anyone's guess here what they're going to do. Yeah, John, I mean, I like the pressuring Vader for sure. Um, Riot is actually the one you really have to pressure. I do actually think Vader is uh, a bit easier to kill than Riot, uh, just with that free evade and, uh, and most likely taking a focus or something else. So Riot doing the three hard there, exactly what you would expect. You might want to, I would want to see a boost here um, to help give him a better arc, chance to shoot at dash when that comes about. But it does move you pretty far forward, so you may just take a focus here and try and play it safe. Hey, thank you, Lego Pup. Greatly appreciate the follow there. All right, we are going to see the boost. We'll see if Dash uh, did a one bank, and if he did, if that's actually going to put him in arc. Lando doing a one bank. See what action he's going to pass. Probably going to pass a double focus or a target lock. Alright, so he's going to rotate his arc to ensure he gets a shot at that TIE Fighter. Pass and dash the... Oh, they'll focus. Did not bump. Dash can just ignore that. Dash is going to check for a target lock. Alright, he's going to take his lock onto the Academy Pilot there. Um, because he didn't rotate his arc... It's going to be his only shot this round, probably. So 
So it was an interesting call by Jax there to kind of just get out of there. All right. Vader has some options here. A barrel roll would get him a shot, probably. I would have liked to see Jax rotate his arc, but I guess he's thinking you gotta think, you know, multiple turns ahead here, not just the one. So Alright, he's gonna use uh, he's gonna focus and then one force to barrel roll. Still has the target lock on dash. So we're probably gonna see this might be range three. Dash at range three it is. All right. Ooh, fire control systems there on that blank. Spend a force. Uh, spend your focus, you're not getting shot at. Don't spend a force. You're just gonna spend the focus. There you go. That's going to be hitting two crits. Ooh, Dash taking two crits here. That's a direct. Into disabled power regulator. Dash with three health remaining here. That is a dangerous spot to be in. It's going to roll up a hit crit. Academy's taking a crit here. Damaged engine. Increase the difficulty of hard turns. Dash with a range three shot. Going to spend that lock. And spend the focus. Alright, one of his dice didn't roll, and that's going to be dead. Alright, so Dash is the bane of these TIE Fighters, however, we have some pretty serious, uh, pretty serious damage on Dash. That Disabled Power Regular is going to take a couple more turns to matter. Um, hmm. I think we're going to see something like a three hard here from dash to the left. Um, and then Lando's just going to kind of keep the scoot going, maybe even up and to the right. But we will see what Jax wants to do here. Um, you got to use dash while you can. Um, I think something like a three hard is going to keep Vader um, out of your range. So, yeah, John, I do think you could definitely move Dash first um, with something like a three hard and then Lando just kind of a one bank. Um, however, Lando's arc is currently pointed front and back, so he would have to spend one of his actions turning, um, which is not the worst thing in the world. But uh, you really want to keep at least one of your ships really safe right now. And at this point, it's going to be Lando because um, Dash is running on borrowed time here. Because if he, can get, if he gets fully ionized, um, he's probably going to die the next turn no matter what. So we'll see. Jax is taking his time, weighing his options. I think we'll probably see a hmm from the defender there. Either something like a five straight or a three bank. Uh Vader will see either a three bank or a three hard. So we'll see where that puts everybody. 
So Riot's gonna move first. Three bank, gonna get that free evade and a focus. All right, Jax, what order are you moving yours in? Lando's gonna move first. Just a one forward. He's gonna rotate and take a focus, so both actions go into Lando. Three hard to the right. He's landed on that rock, which means he's not gonna be able to shoot if, if he doesn't barrel roll. So I think we'll see him barrel roll up board. Because if he barrel rolls down board, he's probably done for here. Yeah, that's a, it's a dangerous spot, and that tiny little rock is just enough to get under you. Yep, you're going to see him barrel roll away here. Probably away and forward. So, let's see what Vader did here. Three bank, yeah, oof. Dash might have got the obstruction, um, which range three obstructed is going to be pretty good. However, yeah. Did anyone chat see if... I think Lando's target lock was on... Riad, if I remember right. Does anyone out there remember who he locked? Alright, so we saw Vader barrel roll to make sure it wasn't obstructed and also ensure that he was out of Lando's arc just in case. And that's, whew, that's going to be hit, crit, crit going into dash. Let's see if those natties show up again. No, they do not. That's going to be two crits and probably that's going to be blinded and wounded and the disabled power regulator from last turn. Still alive, though, with one health. Let me see. Three obstructed here under Ryad. That also with that last shot that brought Andrew into the lead, 57 to 44. All right. Oh, apparently Dash. Yep, there was debate whether he's still on the rock and he is not still on the rock, so. So. Yep, they're zooming in, checking the chat log, seeing what it says. All right, we got a range three shot into Vader. Yeah. All right, we're going to see a range three shot into Vader here. All right, and all of that for nothing. What a shame here. All right, we're going to see Riad's range three obstructed shot at Lando. So it's obstructed, but in bullseye, he's going to get to reroll that blank into another blank. So hit crit. Oof. Lando's going to take one there. Still has a focus. Wow. Okay. So with Dash and Lando kind of splitting up here, we have some options. Um, we're going to see whether Vader is going to try and chase down Lando and get, or Dash and get that PS kill, which I would imagine he's going to do. So Dash has to be very careful into being somewhere where that is not possible. Uh, but if Vader does something just as simple as a, as a one bank, 
Um, that'll be the end of Dash. Oh, he's bringing Ryad and Vader probably in on, on Dash here. All right. Yep, this is probably going to be the end of Dash here. Um, yeah, double focus is really all you can do. And hope and pray that... Oh, boy, that barrel roll would have been a good option there, too. All right, Vader's rolling range one, four dice into Dash. Uh, we'll more than likely see Dash dying here. Yep, and that'll do it. Change ones to a crit. Boom. All right, we do still have a most of the way full health Lando. Um, but the odds are not super great. All right, Vader, range three. Yep. All right. Hey, that's a pretty good roll. Looks like Vader's taking a shield there. All right, so Jax's win condition here is going to be you got to, you have to kill a Vader um, without getting halved on Lando. So that seems like a pretty big uh, feat, but if uh, when it comes to between Defender or Vader, it's much easier to kill Vader than it is a Defender. So we'll see what kind of shots present themselves. They currently have just over 15 minutes remaining, um, and I'm pretty sure this one's probably going to come down to time, and we're going to see that being the deciding factor here. If I was a betting man, I would say that da or uh, Riad is going to do a K turn, probably even just something like a 2K. Uh, Vader is going to turn hard to the left, uh, possibly even Talon rolling. And they're going to come back around and start chasing Lando in a big circle. All right, or Riad doing a 5K there. All right, that's going to be white, then focus and evade. There's the three talent from Vader. here so Vader uh, with going towards the outside of the board there kind of limited his options here we'll probably see him do a one bank down board just to clear that stress hmm okay Riot doing a three bank to the left there um, with Lando moving after Riot uh, there's some options for Lando to do a little bit more arc dodgy type things I don't think it's going to matter in that situation. 
There you go, Vader with the one bank just to clear that stress. All right, Lando, we got range, range two. Okay. There's safety in a little bit of range two action here. So we're going to hit focus blank. We're going to spend the lock here. Oh, back into another blank. He's debating on spending that focus. Might as well. You're only rolling one green die. And spending the evade. Going to not take anything there. There is just a lot of power in focus evade every turn. He's going to spend the focus for three. Lando's going to be taking three. And I think that's enough to get him half. Nope, not. Yep. No, one more because of the hull upgrade is what you need there. Hmm. All right here. So Vader's gonna come around with a three bank or a three hard. Riad, hmm, interesting here. May see a block, something like a 2K maybe, um, or an attempt. Not sure what Lando does here. Arc is still left and right. Um, so something like a, oof, maybe something crazy, maybe something just like a, a three straight, kind of unblockable really, um, by anything that makes sense at least. Hey, thank you, Eric, Eric 17, greatly appreciate the follow there. Yep, so let's see where we're going. Um, I think a good strategy here might be to get the bump. Um, then Riot's not shooting you, and you can just focus on Vader. Um, I don't know if, how long you'll be able to keep that up, but uh, it's an option. Especially if you can get to a point where maybe Vader overcommits. <laughs> but he hasn't really done that at all uh, this game. Raya doing a 2K here. Getting a focus. No evade this time, though. We'll see if Lando's going to hop, skip, and jump right over him. He clears, but that's not really a great spot to clear. He's going to get his free action here. He's going to rotate back down to Ryad. Ryad not having the uh, free evade this time. May actually be able to push through some damage. Vader doing the three hard. Taking a focus and a lock. All right. Going to use the fuse token as lock there. I'm going to see four dice coming in here from Vader. If he gets half points here, this game is pretty much over. And that'll probably do it. Yeah. He'll probably spend his force. Yep. Spends his force, changes another one to a crit. That's going to be hit, hit, crit, crit. Let's... Damaged engine and stunned pilot. Need... Not structural damage. Stunned pilot. Down to four, so... Jackson doing the math here for points. I think you're going to shoot into... Shooting into Vader is easier to get your half points. Um, but Riot is worth more points. Yeah. You only have to push through two damage here onto Vader in order to get half. We're going to see him spend that focus for three. 
you're hoping for some blanks here from Vader. Oh, there was one, just not enough. All right, and we'll see if Ryad may just finish Lando off right here. Oh, looks like he even has Bullseye on that very corner. Oh, not going to need that. And that is game. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this. We're going to interview some players here, so don't go anywhere. All right, guys. Wow. Uh, pretty good game there. That was that was intense. So we're going to start off here with Jax. Kind of tell us what your plan was, what you were thinking, um, and how the game went for you. I approached it with the same plan I do every game with this list is orbiting. Uh, on turn zero, the initial of the rocks, um, I wanted the rocks dispersed a little bit. That ended up biting me in the butt over here, this one. Mm -hmm. um, when I landed on it and I couldn't just focus, so I had to barrel roll. Um, yeah, that was a crucial, crucial, um, you know, TTSI's miscalculation right there for sure. Yeah, and with having both of the large ships in the same area, it can be hard to estimate. Like, I really wanted to three bank with Lando this way, but I didn't think it would clear. So that's why I did the one straight, three hard mm. instead of. I wanted to three bank, three bank one hard, but mm. um, I just didn't think it would clear, and that would have screwed me. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just this one exactly kind of how you and I had discussed earlier. It's just one of those games where if my dice get super hot early and can punch through on Vader and Riot and I clear one of them, um, that's what I would need to win the game. But I just, I couldn't get damage on either one of those two. So yeah, for sure. I mean, Vader and Riot both, um, were able to dodge, you know, with green dice throughout both sides of this game in the beginning were super hot. Uh, I mean, dash dodging, you know, five incoming damage with just a natty three evades and then two natty evades oh, was, was, was killer. Um, was but then, yeah, Ryad with just that focus evade there able to, to say, you know what, I don't, I'm not going to take damage right now. Or I'll take Absolutely. one. So, Yeah, I needed I needed some more. Like when I rolled the uh, four hits with dash into Ryad, I, I needed hits like that to come up with multiple blanks mm -hmm. to get faster on the damage race. And Absolutely. It just... It just wasn't going to happen this game, and that's all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Andrew, um, tell us a little bit about your game plan, what you were thinking coming into this match, and kind of how it went for you. This was a. I was very worried about trying to joust this list because mm -hmm. Dash puts out a lot of firepower, and he's absolutely really strong action economy. So my plan was to split up a little, try to draw him into the rocks out here, mm -hmm. hopefully mess up his maneuvering, and I sort of set up the rocks in a way that would favor that because here he would fly in this way and then I would come in mm -hmm. to a relatively clear space and be able to turn around on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, your list does have a lot of turning around power, that's for sure. Yeah. And then I, I put Vader out on the furthest flank so I could take him in. I could take the rest of my list slow and have Vader come in fast but not mm -hmm. get blown up. Yeah. He's you went vulnerable. from out of range to in range so he couldn't get that target lock on you, that's for sure. Because um, that turn zero was super important, the way you set yours up. And then it forced him to put both of his ships in the corner. And it really just depended on which side you put Vader on to what his initial maneuver was going to be. If you'd have put Vader at your left-hand side there, then he'd have just gone forward. But since you put yeah. him on the other side, he had to think about, okay, how do I go back around the other way? Because I don't want to go that direction. Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, great game. Um, oh, the crucial maneuver, I think, that really tipped this game in your favor was that block with the Academy tie. Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It was yeah. by a nut. It was so small of a margin, too. Like, yeah. oh, man. We talked about it, and just, I was like, ah, I don't know if that would block. I don't know if it'll fit, but that's probably yeah, what I really do. didn't think that was going to block. I And then, yeah, it was because I looked even after he had done it. I was like, okay, like. I should clear that and knows the nub blocked me. Otherwise I might've moved dash first and then Lando, but mm. I don't even, that would have probably been bad too. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think there was a good, a good way to get out of that once it happened. <laughs> so. Yeah. It just, it was so small, but I mean, mm. it happens. It does. Do? All it takes is one pixel. So, 
All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, for playing on stream here, for joining us. Great game. Uh, be sure to watch your uh, your replay. Uh, it'll be up on YouTube here after a little while. Um, but again, thank you guys so much. And I'm just going to say goodbye to the stream. And I will talk to you all later. All right, guys out there on the Internet, thank you so much for tuning in and watching us here live on Twitch. Um, thanks. Big shout out to the 512th out of Austin for putting this whole shindig together with the Corona Cup. Um, please join us. We have a few more games scheduled this week. We have. Um, oh, man, now I need to look. <laughs> we have games tomorrow. We have uh, looks like Rob and Stevie B are playing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, Stevie's actually coming all the way in for or not coming in, but playing from the UK. Um, and then on Thursday, I will be playing uh, versus Mark Sebo at approximately 1 o'clock. That game is subject to change depending on schedules. Uh, and then also Christian versus Dan Thursday at 8.30. So please join us for all of those that you can. And uh, we greatly appreciate you out there. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe. Check out our YouTube channel and our Facebook. Friend us, all that cool stuff. And we will see you next time. Over and out.